Southwind Spotlight featuring Derek Sobeck. Well, there's really a light, apparently. Uh, spotlight. Uh, you know, we were sitting in, a, in our meeting talking about this and what it looked like and who was going to present. And somehow my name got on a list. Not sure how that happens. Um, but, you know, I, I started thinking about, man, this has to be epic. And started thinking, shoot, am I epic? So you start thinking about what you're thinking about, which apparently has a really big word, metacognition, which I think somebody just made up because they didn't want to say, I sat around all day talking to myself about what I was talking, thinking about. Um, but nonetheless, you know, I, I was thinking, how, how, how does this work? How can, how can it be epic? How can I deliver a message? And I distilled it down to two words, respect and belief. The first one being respect and how the word respect actually almost ruined my journey at Southwind. Uh, you know, y being younger uh, in the in industry I was in, um, came up really fast and was given, given a position of being the inspector of all the things that were sent out of the shop for the, you know, the, the place I worked at. And, you know, I was 19, 20, 21 years old and dealing with people that were twice my age. And even though what I was telling them was right, they didn't respect the fact that what I was telling them was the right thing. And, you know, it really galvanized in me throughout my journey is that, man, I, I need to be right. You know, I, my, my desire to be right really clouded a lot of things that I did. But, you know, throughout, throughout my journey, you know, I, I, it changed, you know, I, you know in, in that industry, you know, I started to gain a little respect because I did know the things, I could do all the things, I had the answers, but, the, but I still didn't feel respect. And then, you know, I went into sales and, you know, it's, as an individual producer, you can gain respect pretty easily. You know, I was really good at what I did. I was capable of, you know, selling at a very high level, you know, I was very knowledgeable, it made me good at what I did, uh, you know, and then, you know, coming to Southwind, you know, I had this whole lifelong, you know, you know, belief in respect and, and what it meant, and it almost cost me my job. I sat in an office one day, and I asked job if, if Josh if I ever disrespected him, and he said no. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to quit. Because I'm not going to leave in a place where I felt like I've disrespected you or Tyler or anybody else. And, you know, long, hard day thinking about that and what that looked like. And man, I, I thought to myself, well, you know, what does respect really mean? And, and, and until I really understood, you know, you know, respect and care, you know, kind of go along with each other. And, you know, I, I do care and I cared a lot. And it showed in my individual contributions to my work. I care. Well, I care, if, I care if everybody's successful, Josh, because if they're successful, I'm successful, right? So I did care, and no, probably are, nobody in the business at that time could argue that I cared. Like, everything was important to me. But what really wasn't important was how they felt, or them as a person. If your number was where it needed to be, your awesome high five, way to go, appreciate all your hard work. If your numbers weren't where they were, you know, so what? Let's work harder, whatever, you know. And that challenge to change my mindset and belief was a long journey because for a long time I was a reluctant believer. That's where belief comes in. I sat in a room and helped the team write the mission statement. I talked about this in a meeting not too long ago where I was saying all the words, cool, great, wonderful. But did I really believe anything is possible? No, I, be I believed it on my terms. I believed anything is possible as long as you do all the right things, you know, right? Or is anything really possible because anything's possible? If anything can happen, then it means anything is possible, right? But I didn't firmly believe, you know, in what was going on here. I had some belief. I had belief within the construct of where I, I did things and, you know, the care. But when I started caring, that's when... You know, I, I started respecting myself, and what I mean by that is thinking about what I was thinking about, reading more books. You know, I was 
you know, pretty re- well read in sales and, and things like that. But, you know, I started reading more books and uh, started doing more, getting into, you know, I, I really didn't change until I started down the path of being in front of people more and really seeing them light up and engage. And, you know, it really solidified or started to continue to solidify my belief. But you know what we don't talk about? We talk about belief a lot. We have to talk about unbelieving. Because, I mean, we all believed something when we got here, right? And the journey to unbelieving what you believe is really long. But it doesn't have to be. You know, coming into Southwind, where we are now, you know, you see it. You can feel it. The energy says we are doing the things we're going to do. And it wasn't always that way. You know, I started. We had Kansas City Junk, Omaha Junk, and Kansas City Move. And really up until about three years ago, I was still a non-believer. And then change after change after change, meeting LeDrew. Oh, talk about a battle. <laughs> you know, Marlon mentioned it. You know, he's always there. It's like a stick. He's pushing you along. And, you know, and it, not that I didn't believe in Josh, but, you know, you know we can't do anything together. And... Josh did a really good job of putting LeDrew in a position to help him move that. And like I said, not that I wasn't open-minded or any of the things. There was just certain things that I couldn't fundamentally get behind without seeing it. And then when you start to see it, you know, it becomes really easy. And the longer you're here, the harder it is to be like, shit, that shit's wrong. Don't do that. Because it's, it's true. And, you know, I, I'm up here today because it's true. Because of other people's belief. And, and the one thing that Josh is really, really good at is seeing that in people. So if you're here and you, and you work with Josh, just know no matter where you are, he still believes in you. But you have to respect yourself. You have to do the things that equal where you want to go. And for a long time, I didn't. I was smart. I had the right answers, but nobody wanted them. I was capable of giving everybody what they needed, fundamentally, but nobody would come and ask the questions because they knew that it would be met with resistance. Because I didn't genuinely care about them. I cared about the results. And it's taken a long time, almost eight years, (laughs) if you want to do math, to really come to the realization that what I really like doing is teaching. And what I really like doing is standing up here today in front of a room full of people, having my name on the screen. But it wouldn't have come without me respecting myself. So my fundamental belief on respect has changed. Because people don't wake up in the morning to disrespect you. They wake up in the morning to make mistakes. Those mistakes don't equal disrespect. They just equal they didn't know the answer. And you have to be willing to respect yourself enough to see past that and give them the answer and help them get better. And the more people you help get better, the less worry you have to have about respect. And you just have to worry about believing in the mission. And then everything else becomes easy. I think I did 10 minutes. (laughs) Still not good at math. I could stand up here all day and talk and, you know, I just really, but the message today really is respect yourself enough to, to grow every day and never stop growing. And if there's something worthy enough to believe in, believe it wholeheartedly, not reluctantly. And we'll all be successful together. Thank you. Thank you.